In this video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the formula for RBC counting and platelet counting by direct method. As we know, in both these experiments, we require the improved newborn chamber slide, which is having the central platform. This central platform is having the counting grids, and when we visualize this counting grid under low power objective of the compound microscope, it is visualized like this, which is having the nine large squares. You can see here. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 each large square each large square is having the dimension of 1 mm length and 1 mm width each square is having this dimension 1 mm length and 1 mm width and the dimension of the counting grid as a whole is 3 mm length and 3 mm width and the corner large squares are used for wbc counting and the central densely aged squares are used for rbc counting as well as platelet counting and as you know corner wbc squares are further divided into 16 medium sized squares by single lines whereas the densely aged RBC square central square is further divided into 25 medium sized squares you can see here 25 medium sized squares they are separated by triple lines you can see this has been the central square RBC square has been shown separately you can see here this is the central large square which is used both for rbc counting as well as platelet counting and this central square large square is divided into 25 medium sized squares you can see here five this side and five this side so 25 medium sized squares and they are separated from each other by triple lines okay and each medium sized square is further divided into 16 smallest squares by single lines you can see here this is the smallest square this is all we have discussed in a separate video so we are going to discuss here formula for rbc counting as we know each squares in the counting grid dimension kya is ka 1 mm and 1 mm so this is also having dimension 1 mm by 1 mm and since this is having 25 medium sized square so each medium sized square is having dimension of 1 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 5 and you know for rbc counting we take four corner squares medium squares and one central square medium sized square now we are going to calculate the formula for rbc counting as you know the area of one medium sized rbc square area of this one medium sized rbc square okay you can see full grid mein this is the medium sized rbc square area will be 1 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 5 you know this is 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 so area will be 1 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 5 that is 1 by 25 mm square and you know the rbc is counted in the five medium sized square four corners and one central so area of five medium sized squares rbc square will be equal to 5 multiplied by this one medium sized square ka jo area usse five mein multiply kar denge that is 1 by 5 mm square and volume of five medium sized square this is the area and volume of 5 medium sized rbc square will be equal to area multiplied by the depth that is the that is the distance between the under surface of the this cover slip a cover slip hai and the upper surface of this counting grid 
This is 1 by 10 millimeter. Depth is 1 by 10. You know. So, volume of 5 medium sized RBC square will be equal to area multiplied by the depth. That is 1 by 10. So, multiply kar 1 by 5 millimeter square. Na. That is 1 by 50 cubic millimeter. This is the volume of 5 medium sized square. The dilution factor in case of both RBC counting and platelet counting by direct method is 200. How we get this dilution factor? In both these experiments we use this RBC pipette and we know that the RBC pipette is having the marking of 0.5, 1 in the stem part and above the bulb it is 101. What we do? We take the blood up to 0.5 mark and then we take the diluting fluid. In case of RBC counting, we take the RBC diluting fluid that is Hems fluid up to 101. You know, uh, we take the diluting fluid in the last. First we take the blood. So in the stem part is having only the diluting fluid. So it is discarded. क्या करते हैं हम शुरू में 0.5 ब्लड लेते हैं देन हम डाइल्यूटिंग फ्लूइड लेते हैं 101 तक सो क्या हुआ क्योंकि हम बाद में फ्लूइड ले रहे हैं सो ब्लड जो हमने लिया था 0.5 तक वो सारा ऊपर चला जाएगा ओके सो ये स्टेम पार्ट में क्या होगा ओनली द डाइल्यूटिंग फ्लूइड विल बी देयर सो इसको हम डिस्कार्ड करते हैं सो दिस वॉल्यूम दैट इज द 101 1 दैट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द डाइल्यूटेड ब्लड इसमें क्या होगा हमारा डाइल्यूटेड ब्लड रहेगा ब्लड मिक्स्ड विथ डाइल्यूटिंग फ्लूइड सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ द डाइल्यूटेड ब्लड इज 101 1 दैट इज 100 सो दिस 100 वॉल्यूम ऑफ द डाइल्यूटेड ब्लड इज हैविंग इसमें क्या है 0.5 पार्ट ब्लड का था एंड 99.5 पार्ट डाइल्यूटिंग फ्लूइड का है इस 100 वॉल्यूम में so 100 volume of the diluted blood is having 0.5 part of the undiluted blood plus 99.5 part diluting fluid hai. in case of RBC counting we have Hems fluid lete so 0.5 part of the undiluted blood is there in 100 part of the diluted fluid diluted blood mein. 0.5 part blood hai and undiluted blood tha 0.5 part blood tha na total 100 part of the diluted blood mein isme diluted blood hai blood mixed with diluting fluid so one part mein kitna ho jayega 100 upon 0.5 so we can calculate it it will be 200 isko hum hatayenge to 10 aa jayega 5 2 that 10 so 200 so this 200 is the dilution factor ये dilution factor दोनों में है same रहेगा RBC counting में भी और platelet counting जब direct method से करते हैं and we know हमारा volume कितना आया था 5 medium sized RBC squares में 1 by 50 था so suppose 1 by 50 cubic millimeter volume of the of blood is having n number of RBCs. Suppose 150 जो cubic millimeter volume है, है ना जो 5 medium sized RBC squares में जो volume है, उसमें n number of RBCs है. So 1 में कितना हो जाएगा हमारा? n divided by 1 upon 50. That is, इसको हम करेंगे तो 50 n आ जाएगा. 50 n आ गया. Then this 50 n is multiplied by the dilution factor. That is 200. So this comes out to be 10,000 N. So this is the formula for RBC counting. Okay. N हमारा क्या होता है? Number of ये जितने हमारे five corner squares में जो हम RBC हम count करते हैं, है ना? Five medium sized squares में जितने N जितना हम RBC count करते हैं, उससे हम multiply करते हैं 10,000 में. So this is the formula for RBC counting. Now deriving the formula for platelet count by direct method. 
as you know the platelets are counted in all the 25 medium sized squares in all the 25 medium sized squares central square jo rbc squares hai isme all 25 medium sized squares mein hum platelet counting karte hain and dimension you know each square ka kitna hota hai large square ka 1 mm into 1 mm so area of 25 medium size सेंट्रल स्क्वायर्स दैट इज वन लार्ज स्क्वायर जो हो गया उसका कितना हो जाएगा एरिया वन मिलीमीटर इंटू वन मिलीमीटर दैट इज वन मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड वॉट विल इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मीडियम साइज स्क्वायर वॉल्यूम विल बी यू नो एरिया मल्टीप्लाइड विद द डेफ्थ डेफ्थ यू नो दैट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द अंडर सर्फेस ऑफ द कवर स्लिप एंड अपर सर्फेस ऑफ द काउंटिंग ग्रेड दिस इज द डेफ्थ दैट इज वन बाई टेन सो वॉल्यूम विल बी वन मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द डेफ्थ दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर एंड यू नो द डायल्यूशन फैक्टर इज सेम फॉर बोथ आर बी सी काउंटिंग एंड प्लेटलेट काउंटिंग सेम है बस इसमें डायल्यूटिंग फ्लूड चेंज हो जाता है ब्लड सेम लेते हैं पॉइंट फाइव तक और डायल्यूटिंग फ्लूड हम रिस एकर फ्लूड लेते हैं प्लेटलेट काउंटिंग में अप टू वन जीरो वन सो डायल्यूशन फैक्टर इज सेम टू हंड्रेड सो एरिया वॉल्यूम कितना था 0.1 पॉइंट वन क्यूबिक मिलीमीटर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द डायलूटेड ब्लड कंटेन सपोज एन नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स सपोज कि एन नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स आया सारे में अगर हमने काउंट किया ऑल 25 फाइव मीडियम साइज स्क्वास में तो 25 फाइव ऑल ट्वेंटी फाइव में एन नंबर ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स आया तो वन में दैट इज एन अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड दिस इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द डायलूशन फैक्टर so it will come out to be dilution factor is 200 so it will come out to be 2000 into n so this is the formula for calculating the platelet count thank you very much